welcome dear friends so let me revise what we had done yesterday uh we were dealing with the closed system a closed system and we talked about uh an important process which is a constant pressure process Uh, we are dealing with the working fluid ideal gas and i told you that it is relevant to study the application of the laws of thermodynamics to ideal gases in the systems involving ideal gases for example i talked about a system a closed system like a piston cylinder arrangement Wherein, suppose there is a gas in it, and you supply certain heat, so this gas would expand, and the piston would move, and what you get is the work transfer from the system to the surrounding. Okay. So this uh, kind of problems are encountered in real life. For example, I told you that. Your internal combustion changes, I C changes, internal combustion changes, uh, that is I C changes, your petrol engine and diesel engine. Uh, this kind of practical changes could be analyzed, okay, using such sort of simplifications, right? That uh, the fuel burns and uh, hence the heat is supplied to the gas. and the piston moves your vehicle moves and hence there is a work transfer okay so we talked about the application of first law of thermodynamics closed system yesterday uh when the pressure was for example kept constant okay the gas was doing uh work against the atmospheric pressure was constant and we said that in such a scenario we can calculate the work transfer as an integral of pdv okay which is a non flow work non flow means closed system okay non flow means the uh, working fluid is not able to flow that is it's a closed system right and we also calculated the heat transfer as delta u plus w that is it is delta h okay as delta h so these are the generic relations which are useful for solving numericals on closed system uh, this is first law of thermodynamics mathematical statement okay and we talked about the representation of uh, the constant pressure process on a pressure volume diagram and we said that if you represent the constant pressure process on a pressure volume diagram then that would be a horizontal line that would be a horizontal line and the area and the area under this process line the process line constant pressure line this area could represent the work transfer this area is nothing but the work transfer okay which is nothing but integral of pdv which is nothing but integral of pdv okay so now the question is the question is uh, what if the what if the system is an open system 
what if the system is an open system that has to be now understood okay we talked about a closed system analysis for a constant pressure process and we derived certain expressions for example expressions to remember for work transfer one to two was p into v to minus p1 p1 into minus p1 Okay. The so change equation we got it as M C P log to the base C e two by T one. Okay, this we had derived, right? And your internal energy change in internal energy one to two is M C V T two minus T one. And we talked about the heat transfer, which is Q one to two as M C P e to minus T one. So these relations we derived uh, for a special case that is a closed system where the gas is undergoing expansion or compression also compression could be a negative one expansion or compression okay and uh, at a constant pressure at constant pressure so this has to be kept in mind. Now the point is, what if what if the system is a open system, right? And where do we encounter such a system, right? So let me uh, start the discussion of open system involving ideal gas as a working fluid, okay? And the pressure is constant, and the pressure is constant, okay? So let me erase this. I hope this is very clear to you. Okay, so let me erase this and uh, consider a special case of an open system. Now, what is a special case of open system? A special case of open system, we know that in uh, our analysis, we always talk about a special case of open system, which is a steady flow system. Steady flow system, okay, which whose properties do not change with respect to time. Okay, steady flow system, which is a special case of open system. And now we are talking about which working fluid? We are talking about the ideal gas is a working fluid. Okay. Uh, where do we find such an example of such a system? For example, in your gas turbine power plant, gas turbine power plant, Okay. Uh, if, if you remember the schematic of gas turbine power plant, which you must have drawn in the first year of your engineering in basic mechanical engineering course, uh, this sort of diagram is what we generally draw. Okay, a simple diagram for beginningers. Okay, so this is a turbine, gas turbine. This is a compressor, and this is a combustion chamber. Okay. Combustion chamber, right? So this is the open cycle gas turbine plant which I drawn. Uh, schematic of that. This compressor is driven by the turbine, and the work you are getting electricity output by coupling this gen, uh, turbine to the alternator. Okay, so finally you are getting power. So this is the gas turbine power plant schematic, right? Now if you look at the combustion chamber. Combustion chamber. So the process in the combustion chamber is basically, you know that there is a combustion, obviously. And when you are talking about combustion, uh, if you look at it from a conceptual angle, you are basically transferring the heat. Okay, you are transferring the heat. So this process in the combustion chamber can be idealized as a constant pressure, a constant pressure. Heat addition, heat transfer. Okay, constant pressure, heat transfer. Now we need to figure out that if there is an open system like a combustion chamber, uh, which behaves as a steady flow system, and the ideal gas is a working fluid, then in that case, in that case, what are the expressions for? What are the expressions which would help us calculate many things uh, for the work transfer, work steady flow? Flow work, it's called as flow work. What are the expression for flow work? Okay, 
uh, and what is the expression for heat transfer again steady flow okay what is the expression for entropy change entropy change and also change in internal energy okay. now please note that the difference between this case and the earlier case what is the difference can you tell me the difference you just write the answer in the question column and tell me how is this system okay a gas turbine power plant the combustion chamber of the gas turbine power plant okay uh, different from different from let us say the case which we had discussed in the last lecture how it is different both involve the ideal gases so how how is it different how is this case the combustion chamber okay which we are discussing now different from the case which we talked about yesterday in the last lecture any answers from your side you can put down your answers in the questions column or in the chat box Okay, I'm not able to see your answers. Whatever. Okay, uh, could be some net issues. So the difference is uh, we are talking about now a open system, and we are talking about a very special case of open system, namely steady flow system. Okay. So in that case, in that case, uh, I would derive this expression later. But in that case, the work transfer can be calculated as integral of integral of V D. Okay. work transfer can be calculated as vdp let us say that the entry is one entry to the combustion chamber is one and exit is two so the work transfer during this process in the combustion chamber is one to two okay right so it is minus integral of vdp so what would be the value what would be that value answer what would be the answer for this we are considering which process we are considering a constant pressure heat addition process we are considering a constant pressure yeah correct kunal you are right kunal you are right we are considering a constant pressure heat addition process am i not audible sanket Sanket is not able to hear me. Kunal, am I audible to you? Okay, thank you, Gargi. So the so let us see. If you look at the expression, it is integral of VDP. So it is V into it is V into. So it's a constant pressure process. So it's a constant pressure process. So obviously. Obviously, it was it is equal to zero. Okay, constant pressure process. So if you solve this integral, obviously it is because your dP is zero, so it is zero. So the work transfer. And obviously, you look at this combustion chamber. Combustion chamber. So in the combustion chamber, there is no mechanical work. So combustion chamber is not a work producing system. Combustion chamber is not a work producing system. so when you talk about but it is open system right it is open system and we are idealizing it as a steady flow system so this process of constant pressure heat addition constant pressure heat addition when the system involves ideal gas as a working fluid working fluid and we are talking about a heat addition and constant pressure open system then in that case the steady flow work flow work is zero flow work is zero okay then what would be the expression for the heat transfer now so applying uh, so you know that application of application of first law of thermodynamics what is uh, what is it called as application of first law of thermodynamics to a steady flow system what is that equation called as what is the equation called as when you apply the first law of thermodynamics apply the to a steady flow system what is that equation called as 
enhances when you apply the first law of thermodynamics to to a steady flow system what is that equation called as so that equation enhances okay that equation is called as steady flow energy equation that equation is called as steady flow energy equation okay when you apply the first law of thermodynamics and if you remember that expression uh, we had done that uh, in quite a detail so if if there is an open system if there is an open system here is a flow system and suppose there is an inlet and there is an outlet to it section 1 1 is inlet and section 2 2 is outlet okay and let us say that the inlet energies are u1 is the internal energy the flow work is p1 v1 this is internal energy a uh, flow work is p1 v1 okay uh, let us say that the inlet kinetic energy is half c1 square the inlet potential energy is dz1 okay like this okay so these are the inlet terms and uh, assuming that uh, this is the direction of heat transfer so on the inlet side you would also have heat transfer and at the exit side again you have you would have a corresponding expressions at outlet so u2 is exit internal energy p2 v2 is exit flow work gz2 is exit potential energy half e2 square is your exit kinetic energy and then across the boundary there would be the shaft work okay mechanical work right so there is a work here right and then the steady flow rate equation uh, if you remember we had written it as like this Half c1 square m dot u half c1 square plus g z1 plus u1 plus p1 v1 plus the heat transfer q0. I'm writing it in rate form. Okay, you can also write it per kg form. M dot into half c2 square plus g z2 plus u2 plus p2 v2. Plus W dot. Okay, so this is the steady flow energy equation. Now, if I neglect these terms uh, just for simplification, simplification, right? Uh, and uh, in many times you can neglect this. So then it becomes as M dot into U one plus P one V one plus Q naught is equal to M dot into U two plus P two V two plus W naught. Okay. And this, you know, that by the addition of enthalpy, m dot plus w naught. Okay, so this is this becomes your generic equation, and m dot h one you can replace it by capital H one. This is capital H one. This is capital H two. This is h small h is specific enthalpy, capital H is total enthalpy. So we can rewrite this as we can rewrite this as Like this, H1 plus Q0 is equal is equal to H2 plus W0, and W0 W0 is zero, is zero, right? Hence your heat transfer. Hence your heat transfer when you are talking about a steady flow system is calculated as simply the difference between the enthalpies at exit and inlet H2 minus. H1, okay. H2 minus H1. And differential form, del Q is del H. Del Q is del H. Okay. So need to remember that when you are talking about the open system now, your expressions for the steady flow work that is zero. Expression for heat transfer is H2 minus H1. And what about the expression for entropy change? The expression for entropy change delta S is equal to integral of del Q by T, but del Q is del H, okay, and del H is M C P D T from the definition of specific heat C P. So this is integral of M C P D T upon T, which is nothing but M C P L N T two by T one. T two by T one. Okay, so please note that if you consider, if you consider a 
different case okay may i mean say a steady flow system for a constant pressure heat addition phenomena involving ideal gases we have obtained three different expressions one is the work transfer which is zero for a steady flow system when the process is a constant pressure heat addition the heat transfer which is can be calculated as the difference in the enthalpy at the exit and inlet and the entropy change which can be calculated as mcp log to the base c t2 by t1 okay so these three expressions would come as handy when you want to calculate when you want to calculate the parameters like heat transfer work transfer entropy change for systems which can be idealized as a steady flow systems for example we talked about a combustion chamber in the gas turbine power plant so if i want to theoretically analyze okay the heat which is transferred in the combustion chamber of the power plant that's how much fuel the power plant is consuming right then i can use this equations for doing the calculations so this is the relevance of the analysis why are we studying this ultimately the mathematical modeling of the actual systems of okay, electric systems like power plants steam turbine power plant gas turbine power plants internal combustion engines so all these actual systems actual thermal systems we could we can we can actually uh, without actually taking the readings okay we can predict the performance we can design them better okay with the help of thermodynamic tools so this is the relevance of studying the subject okay i hope it is very clear to you uh, if it is clear say yes we can move to the next process if it is clear say yes so that i can move to the okay thank you sir okay kargi vedant all of you rogesh so uh, let me go to the next um, uh, process okay we talked about now one process okay we talked about a constant pressure process involving ideal gases so what we discussed first was uh, we talked about the ideal we are talking about ideal gases working fluid and talked about the constant pressure process involving ideal gas and we talked about two system one is the closed system and other is a open system okay now let me talk about another important process which is a reversible which is a reversible Adiabatic process, reversible adiabatic process. Okay, what do you understand by adiabatic process? Any answers? Do you understand by adiabatic process? Any answers? Pages, Pranav. Any answers for this? What is the meaning of adiabatic process? constant heat see acharvari is saying constant heat is uh, a bit of because in thermodynamics we talk about heat we talk about transfer we don't talk about something being contained so we don't say that a system has certain heat in it okay what we say is that we say that either there is a transfer of heat from the system to the surrounding or from the surrounding to the system so there is nothing like Uh, constant heat. Okay, what is this true is uh, you are right on the mark, but the way you are expressing it is wrong. Uh, by it, adiabatic, it, it means that the heat transfer is zero. The heat transfer is zero. It's not that the heat is constant. Okay, the heat transfer is zero. So adiabatic process means, suppose you take a system, a system, then this system will not interact with the surroundings. why he transfer there would be no interaction between the system and surrounding why he transfer that is the heat transfer is zero in that case it's called as a adiabatic process and we are talking about an ideal process which is a reverse adiabatic process and if the process is adiabatic and reverse adiabatic then it follows this equation p1 to v1 rest of gamma is equal to I am talking about a process one to two. Okay, let us say 
that the process is one to two, where the system moves from state one to state two. So, if it is a third diabetic process, it follows this equation: third diabetic law, p1 into v1 raised to gamma is equal to p2 into v2 raised to gamma, where gamma is called as what? Any idea? What is gamma? So, what is gamma here? Any answers? Pranav, Tejas, Shravari, Kunal, Gargi, Sanket. Anybody? What is gamma? Gamma is basically gamma. Gamma is basically called as a diabetic index. A diabetic index, and it can be calculated as the ratio of CP upon CV. For ideal cases, its value is 1.4. For ideal for perfect gases, its value is 1.4. Okay. So now let us consider a closed system. Okay, so closed system first. We are what a closed system, which is undergoing a reversible, reversible form or expansion. For example, for example, you can imagine that there is a Cylinder arrangement. Imagine that there is a piston cylinder. Or ideal gas. Piston cylinder arrangement with ideal gas. This is a frictionless piston cylinder arrangement. Okay, so what would be equations for two, one to two? What would be the, the processes from one to two? What would be equations from W one two? And what would be the equations for entropy one to two? Any answers for this? What would be Q one to two? We are talking about process one to two. Which follows the law, which follows the law P into V raised to gamma is equal to constant. There is a curve, it, it, this process can be represented by on a pressure volume diagram. Pressure volume diagram uh, which follows the equation that curve follows the equation P into V raised to gamma is equal to constant. So, in such a case, what would be the expression for Q1 to 2? What would be the expressions for W1 to 2 and what would be an expression for S2? We are talking about a closed system. We are talking about a closed system. So tell me that. Tell me what would be Q1 to 2? Okay, okay. Uh, just a minute. Uh, uh, let me ensure that you see the screen, whatever writing the board. I'll just let me just reset my settings so that you would be in a position to see my board. Okay. There could be some connectivity issues, so that is the reason probably why you are not able to see the screen. But uh, I will fix it up within a minute.
more try to change the presenter and I'll come back again. Okay, just a minute. Sometimes there are issues with GoToWebinar. I will change the presenter and I would then come back again. Um, let us try just a minute. Okay, now you are able to see, I guess, right? Okay. So, so I what I'll just repeat what I said. Uh, you see that uh, I had discussed the ideal gases. Uh, uh, I had discussed two cases. One is uh, a closed system case and a open system case for the constant pressure process. For the constant pressure process. A reversible adiabatic process. Okay, I am discussing a reversible adiabatic process which is undergone by an ideal gas enclosed in a closed system. Enclosed in a closed system. So as you see in the on the screen, I had drawn I had drawn a piston cylinder arrangement, and you see clearly that I have mentioned that and because the process has to be reversible or diabetic. So I assume that the piston cylinder arrangement is a frictionless piston cylinder arrangement. Okay. So when it's a piston cylinder arrangement which is frictionless, it would obey uh, the compression phenomena, right? Uh, it would obey the curve. Sorry, it could, uh, the, it, this process can be represented by a curve obeying the law p into v raised to gamma is equal to constant, where gamma is known as a adiabatic index. Okay, as you see in this on the screen, where this gamma a diabetic index is CP upon CV, whose value is 1.4 for ideal gases. Okay, and uh, if I want to, if I want to uh, obtain these three expressions, that is the expression Q12, W12, and S12, which is heat transfer, work transfer, and uh, entropy transfer. Okay, so uh, we need to do the same exercise as we had done earlier. So can you tell me what is the value of Q12 when it is a reversible or diabetic process undergone by a system which is a closed system. So this is a closed system which I drawn. This is closed system undergoes a process which is reversible and a diabetic. You tell me what is the value of the heat transfer Q12 during the process 1 to 2. What is that value? Any answers? Can you tell me the value Q12? Value anybody? Oh, okay, Gargi is saying zero, and it is correct. So obviously, because it is a diabetic process, so the answer. Is, what would be the value of work transfer? How do we obtain work transfer when it is a closed system? 
How to obtain the work transfer? The non-flow work expression is what? Non-flow work expression is what? It is in of PDD. It is in of and you know v into v raised to gamma is equal to constant. So p is equal to let me denote the constant by c. Let me denote the constant by c. So p is equal to c upon e. upon v raised to gamma and c uh, upon v raised to gamma means c into v raised to minus gamma c p is equal to c into v raised to minus gamma so the integral becomes c v raised to minus gamma and this gamma small gamma like this into dv okay dv so if you solve this okay this is a matter of solving this so what you'll get is you can try this on your own also solving this integration i'm sure that you are very good with calculus so minus gamma plus one from the state one to state two okay so you are integrating it from one to two right so now what i do is that i take this constant outside minus gamma plus one outside okay so this becomes v2 minus uh, v2 raised to minus gamma plus one minus v1 raised to minus gamma plus one okay now just to rearrange it and get the expression in a more convenient form what i would be doing is that i would be multiplying the c inside the bracket okay right so when i am multiplying the c inside the bracket I would do one thing for the first term uh, i would be putting the c value as p1 v1 raised to gamma okay and for, uh, so, sorry for the first term i would be putting the value of c as p2 v2 raised to gamma and for the second term i would be putting the value of c as p1 v1 raised to gamma okay this is just to ensure that i get a very neat and a very simplified expression so doing that uh, what I get is the following uh, 1 upon minus gamma plus 1. Here I will be putting the C value as P2 V2 is to gamma in V2 is to minus gamma plus 1 minus uh, I will be putting the C value here as P1 V1 is to gamma into this is minus V1 upon minus gamma plus 1. Okay. So you can solve this and convince yourselves that this expression becomes P1 V1 minus P2 V2 upon gamma plus 1. Okay. So what I had done is I had derived the expression for the work transfer here. Okay. I had derived the expression for the work transfer here. Hope it is clear to you. Okay. Uh, in order to convince yourselves that you get this expression, uh, I would advise you that you do the integration on your own, okay, and convince yourselves that you would get the expression as follows. That is, uh, the work transfer during the process 1 to 2 as P1 V1 minus P2 V2 upon gamma minus 1, okay. And what is this expression? When is this expression to be used? We can use this expression for calculating the work transfer involving ideal gases. Okay, when the process is 
reversible adiabatic when the process is reversible adiabatic and when we are dealing with a closed system when we are dealing with the closed system okay uh, hopefully this expression is clear if it is clear say yes tell me whether the work transfer expression is clear or you want me to repeat please tell me whether this work transfer derivation is clear okay garge is saying it is clear anybody who wants me to repeat this okay anybody who wants me to repeat this all right thank you uh, i guess it is clear for all uh, now what would be the expression for the entropy change okay what what would be the value of entropy change in this transfer from the system in meaning that this piston cylinder arrangement has to be insulated. this has to be insulated okay this has to be insulated right so that there is no heat transfer so if there is no heat transfer obviously q1 to 2 is zero if it is if it is a reversible adiabatic process then it follows the law c equal to p1 v1 raised to gamma is equal to p2 v2 raised to gamma okay where gamma is a adiabatic index 1.4 for ideal gases the expression for non flow work is non flow means closed system work is integral of pdv so p is i have substituted p as c into v raised to minus gamma because p into v raised to gamma is equal to constant so p is c into v raised to minus gamma so this is what i have done and then i had solved the integral which is v raised to minus gamma plus 1 upon minus gamma plus 1 from 1 to 2 and that then is that because i want a, a simple expression so i had multiplied this c in it and by multiplying the c within the bracket i had chosen the value of c as so c is either v2 v2 rest c is both p2 v2 rest to gamma and p1 v1 rest to gamma so here i would be multiplying the c here but instead of uh, c i would be writing it as p2 v2 rest to gamma and here i would be writing it as p1 v1 rest to gamma okay so if we solve this what you'll get is p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon gamma minus 1 i hope it is clear now ganesh uh, uh, let me ask now the next question uh, what about the entropy change during this process 1 to 2 what about the entropy change when the process is 1 to 2 uh, reversible adiabatic so how do you find the entropy change for finding the entropy change Yes, Kunal, entropy change, not the absolute entropy. What you are written is absolute entropy value. Uh, delta S, yes, not S. Yes. Okay. So the Kunal, we to write it as delta S. Yes. Maybe uh, it is difficult for you to write the delta symbol. So delta S yes is equal to integral of del Q by T. Okay, for a reversible process. All right. And, uh, Integral has to be performed along the reversible path and heat transfer is zero. So delta S has to be zero. Delta S has to be zero. Okay, so please note that the process is reversible and adiabatic. The entropy change is zero or the entropy remains constant. Entropy remains. Okay. So, the is also known as isentropic process. Reverse isentropic. 
on temperature entropy diagram how would that process be represented can you tell me anybody of you if i am to represent this process on a temperature entropy diagram temperature entropy diagram this process your simple adiabatic how can it be represented any answers process on a temperature entropy diagram how can one represent it obviously if it is a temperature entropy diagram and you want to represent the process on a temperature entropy diagram the reversible adiabatic process it has to be a vertical line it has to be a vertical line okay because then and then the entropy at the initial point and entropy at the final point okay so these are the possibilities right these are all let us say this is 3 this is 4 okay so this processes reversible adiabatic processes are always vertical depending upon whether it is a compression or expansion the temperature it would be vertically upward or vertically downwards okay so note that Mr. Premnath is asking why it is a line. I didn't get your question. Okay, okay, that uh, is asking. Okay. So, what is going on? See, uh, let me just fill this entire thing and uh, redraw this. State is in this. Okay. Uh, And I'm drawing this. Okay. So it's very difficult to draw straight line. So this is temperature, and this is entropy. on the on the temperature entropy diagram not on the pressure volume diagram i am not talking about pressure volume diagram please note on a pressure volume diagram it would be a curve it would be a curve which would obey p into v raised to gamma is equal to constant on a pressure volume diagram this is a reversible adiabatic process and this is a reversible adiabatic process I hope it is clear to you, Gargina. Gargina, is it clear? 
कुणाल गणेश शर्वरी एव्हरीबडी हिअर दुर्गेश प्रणव आय होप इट्स क्लिअर टू यू राईट okay uh, so hopefully hopefully uh, the discussion which we had about uh, the isentropic compression okay isentropic compression process isentropic compression process that is uh, sorry isentropic process it could be compression or expansion isentropic process which is reversible adiabatic process is clear to you okay so what we have discussed is uh, another process okay, which is a reversible adiabatic process i have taken an example of closed system but you can also uh, reversible adiabatic process i had taken an example of closed system for my discussion okay and we had derived the expression for uh, work for non flow work non flow and we had got this expression p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon gamma minus 1 which is also equal to mr applying gas law mr t1 minus t2 upon gamma minus 1 okay similarly you can uh, derive this is left as a homework you can derive the expression for steady flow work steady flow work as by solving this integral minus vdp and substituting this v as by putting this putting the value of v as c upon p okay c upon p raised to raised to 1 by gamma raised to 1 by gamma so you uh, this is left as homework that homework myself or you are at home right so your self study uh, i want you to uh, at least few of you to attempt this integration which is a very important integration because you know that uh, gas turbine uh, is a important prime mover in your power producing devices so if i want to calculate what is the work which is being transferred by this work transfer from this gas turbine and uh, if you model this working fluid of gas turbine in ideal gas then we get a very important expression which helps us to predict the power output of the power plant so this expression which you would be deriving okay this would be in a way very useful to predict the power output of actual gas turbine power plant so please uh, try to derive this generic expression for wsf obviously the other two expressions would remain the same the heat transfer would remain the zero when you are talking about open system a special case of open system that is steady flow system and the value of uh, uh, entropy change would also be zero when you are talking about a reversible adiabatic process okay so we have in today's lecture considered a reversible adiabatic process involving ideal gases okay uh, we had discussed in depth what exactly it means like application of first law of thermodynamics to the reversible adiabatic process calculation of the non flow work in a reversible adiabatic process especially the expression for work transfer is important in reversible adiabatic process because the heat transfer is zero and entropy change is zero so important expression is the work transfer and how do we get this as the expression uh, obtained from the generic expression of non flow work that is w is equal to integral of dp which gives you this expression and similarly i had asked you to as a self study homework kind of thing to get a corresponding expression when the system is a open system behaving as a steady flow system okay i hope it is clear to you most of you thanks for joining have a good day